Hi learners, good morning to you and welcome to you to online classes dear learners. How are you learners? And hope you are quite well by the grace of Almighty dear learners with your dear and dearers. I am also in sound position dear learners by the grace of Almighty. But we all know that we are not in sound position learners because of COVID-19. That means we are in pandemic situation because of novel corona. For this reason, this COVID-19 has become capable of damaging all the development programs of human beings, dear learners. Education is one of them, dear learners. So, in order to support the Ministry of Education or our government has taken a lot of initiatives to have the online classes, one of them, dear learners. So, in order to support the Ministry of Education, we have become able to arrange the online classes, dear learners, with the sincere direction of our respectable principal, S. Manisur Rahman, sir. Today, I'd like to take a class like other teachers on English first paper, dear learners. So, before starting my class, before conducting my class with you, I'd like to introduce myself that this is Milan Chandra Mondol, lecturer, Department of English, Dolapur College, Dhanayat Dolapur Khulla, dear learners. Dear learners, actually, this is the class and this class is for the student of newly admitted of HSC level, dear learners, especially first year of HSC. So I would like to congratulate you again because you are the asset of our institution. The reputation of our institution will be dependent on the proper result of you, dear learners. Today, I am going to take the class on English first paper, especially on summary, dear learners. Especially on summary. Actually, you know well that in the question number three, you will get a passage, and according to the patches, you are bound or you have to write down a summary. Summary means a precise, dear learners. But in summary, you have to remember or you have to recollect some rules that will be very helpful for you. Actually, there is no selected or definite rules in summary, but in summary, if you would like to take it in proper position, we have to maintain some categories, some rules and regulation, dear learners. Suppose you are going to write down a summary and before writing a summary, you need to read the text well. Today, I will discuss a passage on summary and this type of passage is related to the unit number 10, lesson 2, that is based on conflict, that is based on conflict dear learners today our summary will be on conflict i have taken a class reading the passage again in previous time dear learners on this unit here but today i have come here to take the class on summary in summary you have to bear in mind that reading is a part of Educations, reading is a perceptive knowledge, perceptive skill, that means perceptive means comprehensive. That means before reading a text, you are bound to comprehend any word of the passage clearly. Because if you are not capable of comprehending any word in your heart, in your mind, it will not help you in understanding the text well. So, reading is called the perceptive skill and writing is called the 
productive skill they are learners because in writing we are uh, we have to produce a lot of innovative ideas and by this type of ideas we write any topics clearly now let's come to our main part on summary in summary you have to write down the main theme of the passage dear learners and you have to avoid the unimportant lines of the passage that means you are read you are to read the passage clearly that means you have to depict you have to draw the main fact the main idea of the text otherwise it will not be your summary in summary you can't mention any statistics which is related to your passes that means you are in summarizing position you are to write the topics in summary by writing five six or seven sentences dear learners but there is no uh, selected limitation to write down the summary in 80 or 90 words but the summary may be 70 or 80 words 60 words maybe also 40 words 50 words maybe also actually the summary will be dependent according to the level of your passage dear learners so be careful to write down the summary clearly because you need to passage you need to get the gist of the passage so you have to passage you have to read the passage again and again this is my request dear learners because without having the total task the clear touch on the text it's not possible for you to write down to draw a good summary in front of the audience dear learners so in short you have to draw your topics you have to draw your text in short versions or in short position dear learners that means writing skill will help you to write down in summary because if you are capable to throw a good writing in front of the readers it will be very helpful in getting a good marks in the examinations so be careful and you need to use the words in careful way dear learners because to select a word in summary is the main fact that means you have to apply the combined comprehensive or matured idea created by you dear learners that means you need to emphasize on writing skill beside the sense of reading skill dear learners and then your summary must be good and better in front of the readers in front of the audience dear learner that means your examiner must be satisfied with your writing so be careful today the topics of the summary is conflict dear learners because before starting the passes conflict i have discussed the points of summary in order to write a text clearly in short versions today our uh, passage is on conflict and i have told and i have discussed i have narrated the passage in my pre previous classes so uh, it doesn't need to discuss the passage again and you are very capable of collecting the words in the passage conflict today i will only discuss on the summary of the passage dear learners today this passage discuss this lesson discuss or deals with this passage discusses this lesson discusses this lesson deals with conflict and it has been that means conflict has been prevailing since the outset of human beings since the outset of beginning of human life dear learners 
there are many definitions in conflict but the result of the conflict is the same dear learners when we try to discuss anything we think ourselves that our idea is correct that means everybody or everyone tries to take his or her idea as the best in some issues or in some points they are learners because most of the time we would like to gain anything by applying our own thoughts or own views they are learners because conflict lies in many minds of the society conflict lies in mind many minds of the society or when we become to the slave of our own thoughts own ideas then the conflict comes automatically to our mind dear learners or when we want to get involved ourselves on any topics in order to serve our practical or individual purposes dear learners unknowingly the conflict comes to our minds and you have to bear in mind that or it is mentioned to you that dear learners conflict is a natural process and the class of the topics the classes of the construction or the construction of the conflict is very natural process conflict brings a damnation if it is not controlled in our mind it is not controlled in our human lives but we can say that conflict sometimes brings damnation or destruction in our lives it has also some positive sense dear learners if we try to control our conflict in our minds our life must be proper and in this sense we can say that conflict has a positive text positive position in human life dear learners conflict doesn't bring damnation or destruction in all time if it is possible to con control our emotion to control our conflicts it will be very easy to lead a better life to lead a common life dear learners and i would like to remind you that conflict has the good process beside having many things we can't remove conflict from our minds it must be available in human rights in human society but we can curb or this conflict must be curbed by holding it range it rests dear learners that means we can control our conflict by holding its range that means analyzing any topics clearly dear learners so conflict must be available in our society and conflict gives us an opportunity to analyze any society the any culture of a man the qualities of the persons so we can say that conflict has the positive sense conflict has the positive text conflict has the positive position beside the negative sides of the learners so this is the theme of the passage this is the summary of the passage on conflict dear learners dear learners in summary if you try to apply your own knowledge or own thought or own text you must be able to cut a good figure in the examination dear learners so in summary you need to read the passage clearly otherwise it's not possible for you to write a good summary in your examination dear learners and this is the main topics main theme main summary of today's class dear learners 
and before finishing my class i would like to remind you that god knows well what is it what is in store for us for the coming days dear learners so i request you try to bring your mind in your daily activities especially in your study don't be afraid of deviating yourself from your own business and i would like to request you don't forget to wash your hand again and again and try to so try to say no to your smoking dear learners and this is the time this is the time being for the class thank you thanks to you thanks to you very much dear learners